Okay, so I'm going to try and create a WordPress website and then clone the theme or deploy the theme from GitHub to that vanilla WordPress install. So I'm going to create a new WordPress site, so I'm going to choose it from Gallery inside of Microsoft Azure. And I'm going to click on WordPress, click Next, um, GitHub WordPress. GitHub WordPress, I'm going to create a new MySQL database, put this in North Europe, which is in Dublin. I'm going to add it to that specific subscription and click Next. I'm just going to add a demo to this, so I need to delete it. Oh, I'm going to remove some characters. Um, I'm going to put it into North Europe again, the database, and I'm also going to clear, agree to clear DB's terms to install my MySQL database. So that's going to go off and it's going to create a, a WordPress website. And when that's done, I'm going to get a URL here. OK, so now if I click on this URL, it's going to load the uh, new installation of WordPress that I've just installed. Just some basic stuff, BB demo. Install WordPress. Okay, and then log in. Remember me. Now, if I'm going to go and look at the appearance and themes, we'll see just the default themes that are installed. Um, so, what I want to do is deploy a theme from GitHub. Now, I actually am not a, a theme writer, so I just went over and cloned, uh, sorry, forked this one called WordPress Foundation, which is by Zurb. And um, it, well, sorry, it installs like the Zurb Foundation uh, CSS framework. So it's just like a really clear, basic theme. Um, the only thing I've done once I'd forked it is I rearranged the, uh, locally on my machine, I rearranged the, um, the folder structure and then recommitted it to GitHub. So I've restructured it so it's actually in the kind of folder structure of has a, a WP content folder then a themes folder. So it's like in the, as if this was the root of my website, I've constructed the folders um, as if it was the root of my website. And that's gonna be, that's because the way that we're gonna use um, to, to deploy from GitHub to Azure, this is the simplest way of doing it. We could have just kept WordPress foundation in the root and then use some settings to put it into the right place on the website for deploy. But just to keep it really simple, I did this. Um, so we have now this kind of folder structure. It's in GitHub. So now if I go and clone this thing down to my machine. So I'm just going to open up panel. And I'm going to go and change directory to my Git folder. And I'm going to clone going to git clone the URL from GitHub. It's going to create a folder called WordPress Foundation, and that's going to be hopefully in my git folder. I've got WordPress Foundation. And you'll see it's got this folder structure with the, uh, the base theme, which I've forked from GitHub. OK, so that's all good. I'm going to go back to the website, and I'm going to say to it, I want to deploy from GitHub a particular some particular source code. So if we go to the, the uh, dashboard, we can go up set up deployment from source control. Lots of different source control systems you can use. And what a chance source control systems like Dropbox, but uh, never mind. We can use a GitHub. We could do it from any Bitbucket, from local Git, whatever. And then from GitHub, I'm just going to choose to go to my repository um, WordPress foundation. And what this does is it then goes to GitHub and it sets some stuff up. Um, and what it does set up exactly is it links to the GitHub repository. And then if I go over to here and look in settings on this, and then I go to webhooks and services, they'll have added this thing, GitHub WordPress, azurewebsites.net deploy. And what that does is every time I make a commit to GitHub, it will deploy that website. It will deploy that code to the website. 
Now, by default, it does this kind of merge where it basically doesn't touch anything which is in the folder already. It just places everything from GitHub over the top. That's the default build script. Now, you can change the build script if you want. That's beyond the, the point of this video, but you can uh, change it. Um, the deployment script is, is, com is completely manageable and changeable. Um, and you can alter it to deploy PHP websites or you know, use Grunt to deploy Node.js websites or use MS Build to deploy uh, ASP.NET websites. Um, and this is just deploying direct to live, but you could set up a system where you deploy to stage before you push to live. Anyway, it's deployed automatically on setup, uh, one at the active deployment, so the latest master branch from GitHub down here. So now, because of the folder structure, we should have a new theme. Let's see. If I refresh this. Yes. So that theme has come down from GitHub. It's been installed on the website. And I'm going to go and activate this now. So now if I go and visit the website, we should have that theme installed, which is all good and well. But what I want to show you is the power of this now. Now I have this all linked up and hooked up. I can just go into my folder, go to the theme, and say if I go into index.php, and I open up this in an editor, and, you know, let's edit like it's 1995. Let's open up uh, Notepad, and I'm just going to put in a H1 here, which just says OMG. Save, and then I'm going to go back to Git, and I'm just going to do a... Actually, am I in the right directory? Am I CD? Oh, what's it called? CD WordPress slash foundation. And then if I do a git add, just do that. And git commit. I should be able to just do a git push. Go through to GitHub. Probably ask my username and password. So I'm not going to set it up to store it. If I go over to Azure now, close this down, you'll see an automatic deployment just happened. So because it got pushed, uh, there was a commit to GitHub, that got pushed to Azure, and then my active deployment now is now changed to OMG. So if I go back to my WordPress website, and I refresh, then you'll see it's updated the theme, the live theme on my website to now say OMG because that's the index file that I changed. I committed it to GitHub, GitHub then pushed over to Azure, Azure noticed the change and then automatically deployed it. Now I could go in and change that and go through all that process again, remove the OMG, but perhaps I want to roll back to a, a previous deployment. I could go in here and click on this deployment, the one before it, and then just click on um, redeploy. So it redeploys a particular ID or branch of Git from Git. And then I just refresh that and then the OMG will be gone. And then I'm going to roll back. Actually, no, the OMG is definitely the thing that I want to add to my website. So I'm going to redeploy OMG. And then once it's re as my active website, my WordPress site. We'll now say OMG again. So that's how you do GitHub deploy directly to Azure. And once you have this set up, you know, you're just committing directly to GitHub and that stuff's getting naturally put up on your live site. It's a, a really great workflow, very quick way, uh, workflow.